Hi, everybody. Uh, so yeah, we're going to today talk about uh, the network visibility. For uh, those of you who attended our uh, previous talk, this is a uh, this is a second in the series of uh, the three talks we are presenting here on OpenStack operational visibility. So this particular talk uh, focuses on the network visibility. And in the previous talk, uh, we did uh, present the overall idea of the theme of where we want to head to in terms of, of capturing the OpenStack operational uh, monitoring and visibility. So this is the team that we work with. So to begin with, uh, in terms of the network visibility, where are we right now? What do we have right now? Probably uh, for, for any, any user, any admin to go and figure out uh, what's happening in your uh, cluster, what's happening in your network cluster, what, what is the kind of network load that the various uh, hosts and instances are going through. You may have to uh, actually go through the various logs and various APIs and do a bunch of thing, calculations, and it's a whole lot of complicated. So, and if something goes down or something goes bad, uh, to troubleshoot, it's such a huge uh, complicated task to go, go the logs and figure out uh, what went wrong. And in terms of the topology, I think currently in Horizon, all we can see is just a bare minimum topology. So it's, it's a huge daunting task to figure out uh, uh, how the network is performing or uh, what's going on. If something, what are the hotspots, it's really a hard task. So it's a, it's a big headache. So where do we want to get to from this uh, uh, current, what, what do we have currently? So we want. Like we uh, said earlier in our uh, first talk, we want to get to a, s a stage where we have a really cool visualization tool and various data analysis tools out there, which helps users to easily uh, figure out uh, the status of your network and uh, otherwise, like compute and storage and everything. So we want to have like cool uh, interfaces and tools that l easily shows you the current visibility of your infrastructure. And in, as part of this talk, uh, we are going to present you some, some of these frameworks and also our uh, whole architecture of where we want to head to. So this is our first, as a first step, we want to present you the visualization step and uh, present you the, the whole picture of uh, network. So I'll hand it over to the team now, uh, who are going to go into the further details of the talk. OK. Um, thank you, Yati. Um, OK. Um, excuse me, can you hear me? Cool. Um, so, okay, uh, regard to the network part, what exactly what we want to see, what we want to uh, know about what's going on in the network in our cluster, um, we think that really depends on who you are, what's your role in this game. So, for example, on the left side, if you're an operator, you're a service provider, you have the total control of your cluster, then you probably want to know the first step will be you want to know the physical status of your devices, switches, clusters, racks. And then based on that, you probably want to know what the hotspots in the cluster. And that will help you to uh, easier to define what's, what you should take care of. And then on the upper level, you probably want to know how are users really using my cluster? Are they, are they using it really heavily? Are they performing some heavy jobs? Are they generating huge traffic? So, on the other side, if you're a user in the cluster, you probably want to know that, um, OK, you get a virtual cluster. You get a bunch of resources. So the first thing you want to know would be um, the resource uh, status uh, in a real life time. And then based on that, you probably want to know the performance. For example, you might get uh, a bunch of virtual networks in, in, in the neutron, but you probably don't, want, don't yet know how much bandwidth you can get from each virtual network, or specifically for certain virtual machines. Um, and on top of that, you might want to know once, uh, for example, if you have some job going on and it's slowing down or it's just stopped, you probably want to know why. You probably want to um, get a track of what's going on in your virtual cluster. So we believe these three things are kind of um, three steps that we're going through. The first step will be data gathering. And the second step will be data storage and statistics. And the last step will be data analysis and visualization. So here, we present you our architecture of the three steps. Um, on the left side is the data gathering. We're going to expand it a little bit in the next slide. So we are doing the data gathering through um, Solometer. 
and uh, as well as the log gathering agents. And uh, then we store these data into both Solometer Collector and the Log Collector. And um, here what we do is we also push the Solometer data into the Log Detector, a uh, Log Collector, so that we have a, a centralized uh, a database of what's going on. And then uh, we push these data into the analysis so we get um, a better understanding as well as we, uh, we use these data for later visualization. Okay, so on regard to the first step of data gathering, uh, we did some tweak in the Solometer to get better information. So for now, if you look at the Solometer agents in the uh, customized, uh, in the non-customized OpenStack, you can only get, uh, uh, regard to the network part, you can only get the outgoing or incoming flow, sorry, the outgoing incoming packet or bytes. Uh, of each virtual machine, but that's far from enough if, what, if you want to really know what's going on in the cluster. So what we do is here you can see in the graph, um, that's a, a normal workflow of the traffic, right? Going from one virtual machine to the uh, switches and then to the destination virtual machine. So what we get is we want to get the end-to-end -end traffic. We want to get to know the VM to VM traffic flow of each, uh, each VM's pairs. So um, for doing that, we actually, uh, we write our own Solometer agent, uh, which could get this in information, and then we compare these information with the Neutron database so that we actually get the ultimate virtual machine to virtual machine traffic. And regard to the log collection, we, um, Besides the OpenStack logs, for, for example, like Neutron and uh, Cinder and Nova, we also uh, collect the server uh, syslogs and as well as the virtual machine logs. For example, if you were running a Hadoop job on top of OpenStack, we're, uh, in our environment, we're collecting the Hadoop logs so that it's better help you to get to know the information. So um, based on these data we gather, we present you the Avos, the analysis and visualization on OpenStack. So um, I'll give you a demo of this video. Sorry, that doesn't look like. Um, I'm not sure how, why this shows like that, but yeah, the color is really weird. I think it's OK now. Okay, let me, one second. Let me do it again. Okay, cool. So um, this is uh, the Avos uh, mainframe uh, visualization. So in here you can see that each circle is uh, one of the virtual clusters you actually have, and the uh, heat map is based on, currently is based on the outgoing traffic of each virtual machine, but actually, uh, if you configure it, you, you can actually make them to represent the CPU or any other uh, heat you want. So, okay, and uh, if you click, you can actually get some detailed information, and here we'll present you uh, more detailed information on virtual machine to virtual machine traffic. If you go through the um, network part, sorry, one second, here. Okay, so if you go through this network part, you can kind of see the uh, circle of virtual machines you already have in one of the virtual, uh, virtual network. And uh, the virtual machines are surrounded as a circle and uh, each line in the graph means a pair of flow that from or to one of the virtual machines. So uh, you can actually see there are four lines here representing five nodes traffic, and that means these five nodes are one of the cluster you have. And uh, also by just looking at these uh, pattern, you will see that there's one virtual machine on the right will stand out because he is connecting or communicating to the others. Um, you probably don't even know uh, this is a Hadoop cluster, but you might know that this virtual machine on the right one might be the boss of the whole cluster. So uh, yeah, that's exactly right, because it's actually the, uh, the master of one of the Hadoop work. So yeah, if you hover on to each virtual machine, you actually get uh, all the 
flows that are coming out of these virtual machines. So you can actually have a better look of the pair-to-pair -pair communication. Now let's look at a heavier uh, situation. So for example, we are actually running many jobs, many Hadoop clusters in one uh, network, virtual network. So this would look like a little more messy, but if you take look into it, um, there are some patterns still inside. And if you, again, if you hover on one of the virtual machines, you would get the pattern. And uh, one of the interesting thing here is we allocate these virtual machines and gather them by their host. So for example, um, you can see the outside of the ring represents different hosts. And by that, you can have a general idea of what is going on between host to host, not just virtual machine to virtual machine. So it's, uh, it's a, like a generated, like a gathering model at itself. So for example, um, in this way, you can actually get an idea of which host is kind of overloaded by the network side. And uh, just so you know, these data are live data. They are changing over time. And so you can actually, uh, it's, a, it's a very good monitoring way to see what is going on. Or, and the color right now is representing the bytes uh, per second of each flow. So you can actually get to know the idea of is there a hot spot in my cluster. OK, so that's um, so much for the demo now. And sorry. OK, that's so much for the demo. We were expecting something like this from you, but um, uh, if, if it's not, then it's, it's fine. So OK. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, w what we believe is those data directly get from uh, either Xelometer or Log are like fresh data, like juice. You squeeze it directly from the fruits. That's fresh, that's live, and that's tasty. But sometimes you might need um, something even more tasty. Maybe you want to change the juice into the wine. So how are we going to do that? We're going to use analysis. And um, here we present Xin um, Yuan to give you a taste of wine tasting. OK. Thank you, Kang Fei. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. OK. Uh, thank you, Kang Fei. And uh, so uh, we have seen that um, um, the real-time network visualiz uh, visualization could provide us with an uh, efficient way of uh, monitoring the um, status of cloud operation. And now I'm going to use some examples to show um, how we can revisit and analyze the historical data so as to get more insights of what is actually going on in our cloud and also uh, use them to uh, achieve a more efficient um, troubleshooting when something goes wrong. Um, so we have collected the network traffic between each pair of virtual machines in Hadoop clusters, which is running on top of OpenStack. And this chart shows the distribution of the, each virtual machine's network flows um, over time. And uh, we can find some interesting patterns from uh, those traffics. For example, you can see the um, horizontal trajectories that uh, indicates the communication between Hadoop master nodes and uh, slate nodes. And also, we can see uh, such a kinds of um, vertical uh, stripes that um, uh, shows the communication between uh, slate nodes and slave nodes. And uh, this kind of uh, feature uh, indicates um, the active status of uh, Hadoop jobs. And if you take a more closer look at those charts, you will probably find more, some more interesting patterns or features uh, from them. And what, so how can we make use of those information? For example, suppose that you are running Hadoop services on the cloud, and your users complain that their Hadoop jobs are going slow. What are you going to do? Maybe you will have to go into thousands of lines of um, say, Hadoop logs, OpenStack logs, or system logs, and trying to uh, guess what's happening in the system and trying out things one by one. Or you can just 
um, have a look at those network traffics. And you can immediately tell that, say, at some point, um, the traffic of a specific uh, virtual machines is stopped. And a couple of seconds later, maybe it's, uh, so you, you can tell that something is wrong here uh, because there's a delay of Hadoop traffic. And now, if you go into the logs now and search for the specific uh, virtual machines and the specific timestamp that you observe the problem, you will just get a couple of lines of logs that are highly related to the problem that you want to solve. And I believe that this kind of process would be much more efficient than the traditional way of troubleshooting. So, and here is another example. And in this example, we not only make use of the uh, network in, uh, metrics, but also uh, other, other kinds of metrics we collected from our system, such like um, CPU utilizations and disk, uh, disk input output things and network uh, information and everything else. And if we um, analyze all of those metrics in an integrated way, we can find some interesting features um, that can tell us if something is going wrong or some abnormal events happens here. Um, for example, we can see the red, red, red color on the left uh, graph. That shows uh, some uh, network abnormals, and we can find uh, different features from the abnormal events and the normal uh, Hadoop uh, workflows. And if we do some more mathematical analysis here, uh, we can also uh, find some, um, uh, we can also find that uh, uh, some abnormal events in the network uh, show some uh, very special um, patterns of distribution. And we can use that kinds of things to um, classify the status of our cloud. So this is pretty much about um, all of the research that we have done and some plans for the future. Um, we are planning to make use of those uh, network flows information um, to help estimation of the network distance. And here we define the network distance as a kind of um, relationship between two network entities, especially for the optimization uh, purpose. And also, we are planning to go deeper into the uh, data-driven diagnosis um, with more uh, metrics collecting from OpenStack or uh, bare metal or everywhere, and uh, uh, do more uh, integrated analysis of all, kind, all those kinds of metrics that we have. So that's it. Thank you very much, and we would appreciate uh, if you can go to the survey and uh, tell us um, uh, some of your requirements or what you would like to see in the future. Thank you very much. Any questions? Any questions? <clears throat> oh, great job. That was, uh, that was really neat. For your analysis piece and the visualization piece, could, could you go over maybe what tools you used and really how much effort did go into to, to get some of those visualizations? These are standard uh, machine learning tools that we can use the, all the, all the uh, existing uh, algorithms that are out there in the machine learning literature. So pretty much we are using some of them in, in our architecture roadmap. And this was like a teaser for, uh, for a project uh, that we are just started. And uh, as part of our roadmap, we want to in, have more, uh, uh, in a, more extensive uh, analysis on this. So but for cur currently, it's, it's mainly the standard uh, machine learning tools like classification algorithms out there. That, and some basic plotting uh, tools that we've used so far, yeah. So I had pretty much the same question. Um, 
is, is there some place, is this open source um, overall? Uh, which, which, what are your plans? This, this project, yeah, we, we are actually right now in the phase, we, we want to get the feel of the community, how the community uh, kind of reacts to this, and we want to gather requirements, and we are eventually going to open source. Uh, we, we may actually plan this out as an open source project with the help of the community, yeah. Okay. Right now we want to see who interested people who would like to collaborate and figure out the requirements, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I just want to congratulate you. This is awesome work. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So the NetFlow that is getting generated, what format is that in? Is that like IP fixed standard format? Any NetFlow collector can, can consume that data? Uh, so the question is... Uh, the, the flow information, uh, is that in a standard format or proprietary? Um, yes, actually, um, it's, we're using uh, standard format to, to, to compare the flows. So actually, it, yeah, it doesn't really matter how, how is your uh, network configuration. You can always find the flow information to, at some point. OK, yeah. thanks. Any questions? Any other questions? And uh, like I said, uh, if, if you would like to answer some, uh, some questions uh, out there in the survey, uh, that would help us gather the requirements and what you would like to expect uh, what you'd expect to see in this project that would help us uh, define the roadmap for this project and uh, we actually would like to take this in the OpenStack community and uh, try to take it to the next level. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.